Hello, everyone. I would like to touch bases with you on this one, and now is a really important time to review history. We're in the age of information. There's been a plague in the United States of America every hundred years, roughly every hundred years. 1918 was the, 1917, 1918 was the Spanish-American, correction, was the, was a f giant plague, I think they, I think it was the Spanish flu or something like that. And then we went to war with Spanish, you know, with the Spaniards in the Spanish-American War, once the plague had ended, lashing out to the Spaniards, Rewind to a hundred years prior, same thing. Look, I'm going to put it this way. Even if it was China, war's no answer. War makes matters worse. What war did as a retaliation to the flu, well, to the Spanish flu back in the, you know, back in 1917 and 1918. When we came out of that, from being so angry, we went into an economic Great Depression. We need to end the cycle. Forgive China. And let's quit letting them have yeah, control over our minds. And let's be done with them so we can move on and recover. You never... By getting even, you just catch up. You are doomed to always play catch up. How you get ahead is through forgiveness. Now, as a SBO, small business owner... I run Geometric Yards Industries, and I've been hit really, really hard by this. If you can start a business this year and last to the end of this year, you're likely to do well in the long run. If you can start a business... And keep it going. If you can start it in a very huge economic recession. Which is two consecutive quarters of downfall. We've already blown through that. How I can summarize this. 2018 quarter four started to fall. 2019 quarter one, two, three, and four. All four quarters were a fall. And then we had, you know, then we've got, and now we've got 2020 quarter one, and we're on a downfall. We are in a huge economic recession. There's been very little economic booming since 2008. It's been steady downfall. Now, trucking itself is just a major symptom of the issue. The major symptom of the issue is things that have been done are not working. They're not. We need to quit giving these free handouts. To big businesses. We need to support our small businesses. With an intensity. That exceeds what we support. The large businesses with. As tough as that is. Of, of a concept to understand. I've worked for many big corporations. As an. I see an independent contractor and 
Um, ultimately, as an IC, I've I've always been screwed over in the end. Every worker of a majorly large corporation, especially one that's globalized, gets screwed in the end. Small business owners treat people right. Small business owners actually care. Big business are always backing you until you screw up or until somebody says you screwed up. They don't do any investigating. They don't do anything. They just fire you. They don't care. And if they don't fire you, they sue you. And if they don't sue you, they make your life hell. Sometimes by doing both of those at the same time, fire you, sue you, try to get you to file and, you know, sign a non-compete. They're all bullshit. Ignore it. Just get rid of major corporations, Amazon included. I'm not sorry. I'm not wrong. It's time we move on. It's time we quit sending children to college and universities and start sending them to apprenticeships to get paid to learn. Let's quit the money racket. Let's start the bettering the future. Let's start improving the future. This right here is a big chance for an economic do-over, a mulligan, if you will. A lot of people look at this as a catch-22. It's not a catch-22. Look at the history books. We know what to do by learning from history and what did and did not work. Yes, there are some things in history that did work. There's a lot that did not work. That led it to repeat itself. Let's do this, people. Let's get it together. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Um, drop a comment. Um, and remember, if you hit a thumb, drop a comment. Let me know what your reasoning behind that is. I've been struggling a little here and there with some of the stuff, but... Such is life, right? Anyways, Girl Scouts, peace out, Girl Scout. So I'll catch you in another video. And in God's name, I testify and I'm about the scriptures being more real than the government and the historical recordings. Amen and may God bless you all. Thank you. Oh, and um if you want to stay up to date on what I'm posting, the subscription button will put it in your news feed, within your subscriptions news feed. And if you want to get notified of everything, you're, you can click the notification bell. That notification bell will give you a drop down menu. Tap on all and you will get notified of everything. Thank you all. Have a good one and let's do this.